Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dix coming back at you with another video. So, I want you to think about this. I recently posted this on my, um, I posted it on my LinkedIn. I was talking about the military and artificial intelligence. I want people to realize how we are heading into a new world with technology. We're heading into a new world with, um, how things are going to be done and it's going to be scary so you're going to have artificial intelligence out there um making decisions on how things should be done if you don't believe me um the point the former joint chiefs of staff guy was on um 60 minutes and he was talking about it so he was saying how they wouldn't have to get up in the middle of the night and make decisions we'll let artificial intelligence do this so in other words they're saying we'll let artificial intelligence give orders to your subordinates to your superiors etc and i want people to think about this the military is going to change you know my dad um got drafted to the vietnam war it was in 1969 it came out and he was a helicopter um tech he was a helicopter tech he basically told us he fixed on the helicopters and what happened is when they fixed on it you had to ride on a helicopter with them to make sure those huey helicopters that whatever you fix um would last so that in other words if you got to ride on it you're going to make sure it's working because you don't want to die and you don't want the other people to die so i look at how the military has changed since then i also think about how the military has changed in the last couple of years to where they now are using drones. I'm pretty sure they had back then in the day some kind of um, some kind of technology or whatnot. But now, air not airfare. Sorry, warfare is going to be fought cyberwise. When I say cyber, we all know what that means. Even with the war in Israel, uh, with Hamas and um, Israel, I looked the other day. Hackers now are finding ways to do cyber attacks, which I figured was going to happen. I lectured to a class this past week and I brought that up to him. I said, this is how the world is changing. So now they're using drones to even do warfare. Even um, Israel or Hamas was using drones because they had the camera feed and you can actually see what was going on. Excuse me. And this is how warfare is going to change. So if you're in the military, the, the, the branch no matter what branch you're going into or if you gotten out of it, the new uh, war, the warfare is going to be artificial intelligence. Just imagine, you launch a missile, it already, want, you know, I love watching the videos of the Hellfire missiles being launched out of the uh, Apache helicopters and they take a path or they go up and come down. Just imagine now when those Tomahawk and those Apache, and not the, the uh, uh, missiles, the Hellfire missiles that the Apache shoot, the rocket can choose its own course and also choose a target. The only bad thing about that is, can the target, can the rocket actually come back to where it's shooting at? I hope that doesn't happen, but we have to put precursors in there to say, do not refire back at launch point because it could say, oh, I see this over here. I'm gonna go back to where it's launched from. So again, I want you to think about artificial intelligence and the military. The, no matter what war may be going on now, no matter what else may be going on, how things have been done in the past is completely obsolete. I mean, look at how in the past couple of years when they've had to take out some of these Al Qaeda people or some of these terrorists, they have, it hasn't been people on the ground, it's been from a drone and the people that fly the drones over here in the United States, but the drone is all the way over there in Iraq. I just want people to think about how that's gonna change and the kind of people they need in the military are going to change. They're going to really need more complex people with more thinking capability because putting people, excuse me, on the ground to fight a war, no more, a war anymore to me, and I'm against wars, you know, unless it's something really, really seriously happening. But unless there is a serious conflict, we won't have to put boots on the ground. You have artificial intelligence, you have automation, you have machine learning. And you're going to have deep learning that can learn how somebody may think and how these missiles may launch and how the tanks. We're going to have driverless tanks out there. We're going to have driverless Humvees. You know, I watch a lot of the military stuff. It's very cool to watch those MRAP vehicles. So I just want people to think about it. We're going to have missiles launched out of the, um, like the Javelin. You know, I play a lot of our, I play a lot of Call of Duty and a lot of those guns y'all resemble real life things that, you know, I went on YouTube and I'm like, this is the real life thing, like a Javelin, a tank missile. These, these um, missiles now are gonna be able to choose their own best course of action. So again, that is a opportunity cost for people to get into it and say, hey, 
I want to provide a military with these missiles. I want to provide a military with this technology. You know, I would love to get into it because not only am I helping out, but I'm helping benefit the most uh, sophisticated military in the world, which is the United States, the biggest and the best. And I want people to think about that. That is what is coming. Artificial intelligence and the military are going to, well, artificial intelligence is going to change the military forever. And the kind of people they need in the military is going to go away and they're gonna need more te technical people and more analytical people. They already have it, but they're gonna be some MOSs people choose and this is where it's headed. So again, my name is Dr. Patrick Dix and I will see you on the next video. Peace.